Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Destiny 2 weekly reset video. My name is Story and today is February the 9th which means the new season is upon us and we're running up until February 16th because that's how things go around here. Now there's lots of things that aren't working currently. The API is down so there's a few things that I'm going to have to glance over I'm afraid. But anyway without further ado this is a weekly reset video so things have reset. You can go and do all your weekly challenges. For example, the gunsmith has eight bounties off, powerful gear at tier one. Same with shacks, and you'll get bright dust as well. Look at that. That's been added there for the weekly challenges. Eight bounties off, for powerful gear at tier one. Same with the vanguard and gambit. And then we've got 5,000 XP. Earn that for your clan if you happen to be a member of one, and you'll get some powerful gear at tier two. Prophecy Dungeon is still there for pinnacle rewards as well. Speaking of Pinnacle Rewards, if we go to our destinations and go to the Vanguard screen, the new updated Vanguard screen, we've got our strikes here. Three of, same thing, challenges. Three strikes completed using the um, same subclass element as the currently active element will burn. That'll get you some Pinnacle loot. The ordeal is still active, of course. We've got our two weekly challenges. Run through the ordeal a bunch of times and you'll get uh, some powerful gear at tier one. Then um, your pinnacle rewards will be available after getting an ordeal score above 100,000 points. I wish, I'd love to be able to tell you what it is, but the API is down at the moment, and I'd have to launch the activity, and that would be bad. Grandmaster appears to be available here as well. So I thought that comes later on in the season, but it's there, maybe it's a glitch, I don't know, maybe it's a change, don't know. Dunno, dunno. Anyway, we've got Gambit. Three games of Gambit should be for your Pinnacle loot, that is. Ever more. The same. And then for Crucible, the updated Crucible screen, we've got our control here. And we've got Elimination. That's still part of the core playlist. Rumble. Survival is the same. Um, Freeland Survival is still there as well. So we've got the core playlist consisting of Control, Elimination, Rumble, and Mayhem. Three games of that completed will get you some pinnacle loot. And then we've got survival, seven wins for powerful gear at tier one, and that includes freelance survival as well. Seven wins, that's not seven games, seven wins takes you about two and a half games if you're lucky or if you're very skilled. And then there's private matches there if you want a 1v1, your dad. Um, anyway, there you go, that is the stuff. Europa, let's have a look what we've got. Uh, there are aspects available as well for um, more of the sub stasis subclasses business. Um, what else we got? Pinnacle loot is still available from the, from the simulation survival. So you can complete the old uh, agility challenge or whatever for your pinnacle loot. We've got our empire hunts still available for pinnacle loot as well. Two hunts completed for powerful gear at tier one. And then one empire hunt completed on master difficulty for pinnacle loot as well. Deep Stoned Crypt still awards Pinnacle Loot. So um, that is the thing. And then our uh, uh, Lost Sectors still awarding our exotic stuff if you do solo business as well there. Isn't that nice? Recommended Power 1300. Mm. Isn't it good? What else is there? Uh, Battleground Behemoth. Complete the Battleground Behemoth activity for Powerful Gear at Tier 3. There's lots of stuff available at the moment. We're going to glance over a lot of it because we're going to have more videos on the channel very, very soon, um, uh, walking you through all the business. But we're going to have a look at the Eververse store to wrap up. Look at all this glorious stuff. Season of the Chosen starter bundle. You can have that. Should we have a peruse of it? We've got the Veloc... Is it Veloci Shell? I don't know. Velociraptor. There's, let's we have a look at it. Should we inspect it? It's a crash helmet. It's nice. And then there is the Veloc Veloci Cruiser. Look at that. That's weird as hell, isn't it? That's weird. And then you've got some consumables and some bright dust there available. We've got festive sparks in the featured section. We're fishing with sparks. Isn't it nice? We've got Be My Blade. A warlock finisher specific to warlocks there. Should we see it again? Nice. Taurus shell. Oh, yeah, of course. We're in Chinese Year of the Ox, isn't it? Taurus firecracker. 
Uh, exotic Sparrow, Taurus Rocketeer. That's a ship, that is. And then we've got the daily featured Rust Punk Shell. This is of old. This will rotate every day. In the Bright Dust featured section, we've got our usual consumables. We've got Blood in the Water, Exotic Sparrow. We've got the Lampion Shell. We have the Warsat Arrival, and we have Bruised Blush. Uh, then we've got the seasonal stuff. I'm not going to spoil all of this, but there's a lot to have a look at here. So browse that at your leisure. A whole bunch of new exotic ornaments and finishers and whatnot. Then we've got the archive, which is where everything appears from previous seasons. And then here's the dedicated Bright Dust section. We've got the Playground Ride. Oh, it's back. Look at that. It's beautiful. And then we've got the Cross Step Shuffle. For those that are interested, we've got the Grateful Crane. That was one of my favourite sparrows that was from previous seasons. I really like that. It's very sleek. And then we've got the Chila N. I wanted that ship. I was waiting for it and waiting for it. Pretty good. Uh, the camera angle's all mashed up, though. It's all at the, like, the bottom end of the screen for some reason. We've got the 8-ball shell and the Devil's Advocate we weapon ornament for Devil's Ruined exotic sidearm. This is really nice. And then there is a beastly projection, as well as a whole bunch of flair. What's this? Abyssian gold. I like it. I'm having it. That's going straight in the basket. I love the shaders. And then we've got a whole bunch of transmat effects and consumables as ever, as normal. That is the stuff. That is the weekly reset from February 9th until February 16th. Have an absolutely fantastic week in the new Season of The Chosen, don't grind too hard, remember to drink water, take regular breaks, go outside, take some fresh air, and look after your nan. Anyway, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and remember, smoke as a kipper, we'll be back for breakfast.